All right, guys, I'm gonna be showing you my tutorial of how to make a winter landscape. Um, you guys can pick anything that you want for your drawing. It can be anything winter holiday related. Um, maybe draw like a stocking or ornaments hanging on a tree or Christmas carolers, whatever you want. I like landscapes, so I'm gonna start with a kind of a snowy landscape. So I'm starting with blue. Um, you guys can, if you wanna do snow with gray and white, however, I'm just gonna put some blue in it. I think blue sometimes looks nice for snow, so I'm doing all my um, swipes and dots. I added some yellow as well. I want there to be some white patches shining through, but um, I'm making my snowbank, my ground first, and this is how I'm doing it. Alright, so now I'm going to make the sky. Um, I'm going to start with a darker blue color and work my way from there. So I start with this dark blue color and I'm going to put a ton of lines because I don't want like any white space to shine through for the sky. So I'm going to start with my darkest color. It's usually a good idea to start with your darkest color and then work your way up to your lightest color. But sometimes you don't know what colors you're going to use, so it doesn't really matter, but just a suggestion. So here's me coloring in the rest of my sky. So I've switched colors now, and at this point, because I don't want any white shining through um, from my background. I'm coloring in all the edges where um, the ground touches the sky and that horizon line and then the sides and the top kind of like a box because it looks funny now but when I do all my lines over it it's not going to look like it's colored in. Um, so I colored that in and I'm using my blue to go over it so that nothing shines through. So now I'm just going to be coloring in the rest of my sky. I use lots of different shades of blue and I'll even toss in just a little bit of yellow. So I'm gonna just skip to the um, finished product of the sky. So here's my finished product of my sky and now I'm gonna add a sun because I like the color of yellow and blue. I'm doing all my little swoopy lines in the same direction. They're going in a circular motion. Direction's really important when it comes to um, impressionism. You need to make sure whatever direction your lines are going in, that's the way the eye is looking. That's the movement you're representing in the painting. So I'm putting lots of different yellow colors here. And then after that, I don't like the way that the sky and the ground touch. So I'm gonna draw a line of trees um, in front of that. So here are my trees really close up. I added another layer of green over them and then I'm taking a smaller brush and I'm gonna take that dark green color again and I'm gonna go down the middle with it because the middle of the tree is where the trunk is and it's a little more dense and it's usually more dark. So I'm gonna add that detail to all my trees. So the last thing I'm going to do after I've added that darker detail to my trees is add some snow, some snowy pine tree boughs. I'm going to use some blue and some white for this. Just adds another layer of depth which makes the um, trees look a little more realistic. 
So I'll be doing that to all the trees. Again, it's impressionism, so it needs to be swoopy lines or dots. It shouldn't just be big, bold strokes. Make it small, individual um, paintbrush strokes. And there you have it, the final product. This is my impressionist snowy landscape, my wintry landscape. Maybe if I were to fix a few things, I'd go back in and put more white in the ground, like the snow, maybe put some in front of the trees. Um, but this was just for the purpose to show you how to do this. Um, please pick anything you want. It can be a winter holiday, Christmas related, Hanukkah related, just winter related in general, and have fun with it, guys.